Hey guys, Jammer the 7 x Super here, another Trevor 1.3 video. This time, we're going to be showing you the um, all of the loot that you get from the Moon Lord, the final boss of the game. So, uh, first and foremost, he drops Luminite here, which um, is used in basically all of the stuff that you see that you see here, all the armor sets, uh, all of the tools, the wings, uh, all that stuff uses Luminite. He drops 70 to 90 when he dies. So in order to get all this stuff, you're going to have to fight him a lot. And I and I fought him a lot of times, along with um, Sacred Survival. I had him help me because you get, when you do a nice remote, each of you get a treasure bag. And each treasure bag comes with Luminite and, and weapons and loot and stuff. So fighting, fighting him with other people when you're doing expert mode is definitely the best way to do it. Um, but, so you have the Luminite itself. Yeah, it looks, looks, yeah, let's go ahead and, uh, let's sum it down. Looks pretty, looks very nice. I definitely like how it looks. You can turn that either into Luminite Bricks, which is the, um, the aesthetic choice there, which also looks very cool. Or you can turn it into Luminite Bars, and we'll just go ahead and turn this stuff up. Uh, the bars, of course, are what, uh, you use to make all of the actual stuff. I'll just go ahead and place some of those down for, uh, for fun. But, um... I'll get into that later, except for just the stuff you... The only things you make out of just Luminite, uh, just Luminite bars, are the arrows and the bullets. Which is why I have these uh, these two weapons here. The arrows, when you shoot them, they leave... Uh, they give off that little uh, duplicate there, that if I could find some enemies... That, um... That double there, I think... I believe it does the same amount of damage, as well as uh, being homing. Uh, this is a bad choice. There's no lighting down there, I don't think. <clears throat> Here we go. Go ahead and shoot him, and then... Oh, okay, so maybe it's it's not quite homing, but it's... And it doesn't appear to be quite as powerful, but it's definitely a very helpful thing. Those arrows are going to be... I'd say probably the best arrows in the game. The only thing that you might also want in addition to those are, um... Ico arrows, because they have the debuff. But then the bullets uh, just go through things. I think they pierce infinitely, but I'm not actually sure about that. And of course, they're, they're pretty powerful, too. Both of the... These are both, like... Damage-wise, these are the highest of um, of either of those types of am ammos in the game. Now, beyond just the Luminite stuff, <clears throat> the first time you kill him, he drops the portal gun. And I have not... I fought him several times, and he only ever dropped one portal gun the first time we killed him. But uh, the portal gun does, you know, exactly what you think it do. You go in one portal, you come out the other. It's the same as in, uh, same as in portal. Definitely a lot of cool stuff you can do here. Uh, a couple things to note, the portals don't stay when you die. So if, if I were to die, these portals would go away. And uh, projectiles and stuff don't go through them. I don't think thrown items go through them, but let me actually test that out quick. Let me check a torch on the ground. No, okay, it doesn't, doesn't appear to go through. Where did that... Oh, I shot, okay. <laughs> but yeah, that's definitely a very cool thing. So I believe this is like one per player. I'm not sure how that works if someone were to lose theirs. But, um... I have not gotten another one since since I fought the boss. Uh, now, if you're doing this, if you beat him in expert mode, he also drops the gravity globe and the suspicious-looking tentacle. The tentacle, for some reason, does not have any. Um, uh, it doesn't have the rainbow text. But uh, the gravity globe here, I thought it functioned basically like a gravitation potion. It sort of does. So if you hit up when you're on the ground, it reverses gravity. But that's the key: is that you have to be standing on the ground, like I'm. I'll be up here, and I'm hitting up, and it doesn't do anything. But if you hit up when you're standing on the ground, it, switch, it switches gravity. So it's still helpful, but it still doesn't quite replace the gravitation potions as far as, you know, complete functionality. So if I were to fall, if I were to hit up right now, I would go all the way up and then run the way back down, and then I would die. <laughs> I would go up until I hit the, um, the upper, the upper limit of the map, and then I would fall down and die. So that's cool, but... For the expert mode item, uh, it's it's kind of mech considering that it's um, you do only uh, it doesn't it doesn't fully replace gravitation potion. I'm just gonna kill the slime so it doesn't get in the way. Out of here. Okay, and the other one is special looking tentacle. This one, however, is pretty nice. It's a light pet. For some reason, we'll bring up the inventory. It's a light pet. It's the best one in the game. Uh, you go ahead and oh, I have it not shown. There we go. Uh, yeah, it summons a little, uh, True Eye of Cthulhu, or it's a special looking eye is what this one's called, but it's based after the True Eye of Cthulhu from the final boss fight. Uh, it lights up very well, it will always stay right next to you no matter how fast you're going. As best as I can tell, it also lights up ores and treasures near you, which is kind of cool, so it basically acts as a permanent, uh, Spelunker's glow stick, which is very nice. This is a, this is a very good, very good light pad here. Like I said, definitely the best in the game. As you can see, it keeps up with you 
pretty much no matter what speed you're going as best as I know. So that that is a very good thing right there. Uh, yeah, go ahead and go ahead and keep him around. I think. Or, ouch! Ouch! Get out of here. Hold on, let me just smash this guy. Okay, so those are the things. Those are the only things you're guaranteed to get. Every time you kill him, you will get a gravity globe and a suspicious look tentacle. No matter what, every time you kill him. But um, these nine items down here, these you have um, an equal chance to get one of these every time you beat the boss. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, start taking a look at these guys. You get two two ranged weapons, two summon weapons, two magic weapons, and three melee weapons. So I did not pick up any rockets in preparation for this. Hold on. Uh, let's see here. Who sells? Where's the cyborg? Here he is. Don't actually. I've never fired the celebration, so I'm not sure exactly what it does. We'll just get some some rocket ones. Those should those should work just fine. I'll just get a few of those. And does that work? Yeah. Okay. Celebration. Let's see what it does. I can only imagine what it does, but let's let's go ahead and find out here. Let me. Ooh. Well, that's very nice. Actually, that's a a random. Uh, Firework there. That's very nice. That's, that's fancy. How fast did you fire him? Well, not too fast, but it also seems to uh, split sometimes as well. How was that on uh, on killing? I know I heard a zombie. I don't know where it went. Uh, it says 65 damage, which doesn't sound all that impressive. But considering it's an item from the final boss, it's got to do some damage. But I can't find anything currently to uh, test it out on. But that's definitely a very cool looking weapon at the very least. It's like a little uh, firework launcher. Very nice, very nice. Okay. So there's that. Next we have the SDMG. This was in the game, if you guys saw my uh, Unobtainable Items video, this was in the game before, but it was unobtainable. And uh, now they they introduced it officially, and they also buffed it like crazy. So here's a god... This is comparing it to a godly mega shark. This is the best... Well, actually, no, Unreal would be the best, sorry. But um, this is still pretty good. 29 damage, 9 critical strike chance. 50% uh, chance not to consume ammo. This one does 77 damage, 14% critical strike chance, and still the 50% chance to not do ammo, and it has just very weak knockback instead of extremely weak. It also fires faster, so we'll go ahead and... Here's the regular Mega Shark. Or, yeah, there's there's the, the guy the Mega Shark. Here's the SDMG. Very, very nice. This is definitely, as far as guns are confer uh, concerned, this is definitely... You're not going to get any better than this. I can only imagine. Let's 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 see the DPS actually with the bullets. Oh wait, I don't have my DPS meter. Hold on. Uh, let's see. Where is my? Uh... Here we go. Let's go ahead and see the DPS I get on this thing. Yeah, for considering how accurate this thing is, about 1,300 DPS. That's not that's not bad at all. Not bad at all. Let's go ahead and put that back so it's not too distracting. Okay, so there's that. Next we have the summons, we have the Lunar Portal Staff, which I believe shoots lightning at enemies. Yeah, or shoots like a little laser. That's pretty neat. <laughs> That's definitely a neat little thing. Just like, this actually doesn't take up your summon slot, so you can still get a, um, another summon. Is this? That one actually doesn't as well, I don't think. So even with both of those, you can still potentially have another summon. Like, let me see, I can get uh, a Status Dragon, and then he can still be out. These two summons are like the Frost Hydra in that they don't actually... As you can see, you don't get a buff form, and they don't take up your, your summon slot. So the, um... Oh, I just wish there were more enemies. Uh, yeah, the portal staff, as you saw, shoots a little, uh... Shoots a little laser. Ah, here we go. And then the rainbow... This this one looks really cool. It does a, um... Like a rainbow just, uh, rainbow spread thing. It doesn't... Yeah, there we go. It's a little little tricky to hit things, but the range on that is actually... The range on both of those is actually pretty good. Let's see. Oh, that's not even fully the, the full range of the strip it up there. Yeah, as you can see, the range is uh, the range is pretty good. So these are definitely definitely a good set of, of summon items that don't take up your um, your summon slot. So you can still use other other summons like the Stardust Dragon and whatever else you want. Although that that's a little little finicky when it <laughs> comes to hitting things. And this one's a little slow, to be fair. So I mean, they're not they're not perfect certainly, but they're as you can see, that laser looks like it goes just about like forever. So you know. Good stuff there. I'll just go ahead and set these guys up. Just to uh, keep me safe. Alright. Now we have the now we have the two magic weapons. The Lunar Flare, which uh, wherever you're pointing your cursor, it shoots three, it looks like, yeah, three uh, nice little explosions. 100 magic damage. Uh, this is this is definitely a good one. As you can see, it's a, it's a mana eater, so it'll use up your, uh, your mana reserves very quickly. But 
both of the magic spells actually do that, so, to be fair. It's, uh, yeah, the, the damage on this is very nice. Let's go ahead and, you know what, I'm actually going to keep the, um, the cell phone on me. Just for the DPS. Uh, yeah, I don't feel like trying to look for a DPS meter, so we'll go ahead and stick with that. That does, the, the, like, the actual DPS isn't great, but the explosions are pretty large on these, so that's very good. Here we have my personal favorite out of all the weapons, I'd say, up to this point, is the, the last prism. When you start from, oh, I gotta wait for my, uh, my managed region. Oh, hold on, I'll get some of these, uh, stars here. There we go. When you first start firing it, it starts out spread out, but it will slowly concentrate itself over time. That was all my mana that it just used, so, again, it uses up mana very quickly. But this one especially, you saw me when I used this against the, um, the destroyer, if you saw the, the destroyer versus last prism video. It, um, it took, it, with the nebula armor here, it took him out in about three seconds. So, I mean, I know that's the destroyer, you know, he has a lot of hitboxes, so naturally piercing stuff works very well. But just like, even just visually, this is, this is one of my favorite items in the game. This thing is fantastic. Definitely my, my favorite up to this point, and probably my second favorite overall out of all the Moonlord drops. And my favorite, like, visually, and like, conceptually and stuff. But, uh... Now we'll go ahead and get into the, the melee weapons here. I'm actually going to save that one for last. Uh, we have the Star Wrath, which is an upgraded version of the Star Fury that you find in um, in Sky Chess. And it does pretty much exactly what, what you would think. It shoots every swing, gets you three projectiles, and you hold it down and it just it just rains them down. <laughs> it's really good. Really, really good. You can, you know, aim them no matter where you are, just like I believe with the Star Fury. I haven't used that thing in a while, but... um. And those do also count as melee damage, as best as I can tell. It doesn't say anything that would indicate that those count as any other damage other than melee. So this, those projectiles are in fact melee, as far as I can tell, which is very, very nice. Now we have the Terrarian, the best yo-yo in the game by far. You throw it out here, it shoots out little projectiles that are homing, and it does 190 damage. <laughs> which is absolutely insane. Uh, yeah, it shoots out, little, like I said, like you can see there, the little projectiles. If you have the, um, the yo-yo bag, I'm not sure if the, um, if the duplicate also shoots those projectiles. But, uh, it would be hard to tell, so I'm not gonna test it out or anything. But, basically, this thing is really, really good. There's even an, there's even an achievement for getting this item specifically. Out of all the Moonlord drops, you, there's an achievement for, for this one item. So, there's that, and last, last but certainly not least, we have the Meow Mare. Which is the um, pretty much the penultimate melee weapon, the penultimate sword. This is just this is as good as it gets for the 200 damage, and it shoots a little bouncing cat. It bounces four times, and I've noticed that it actually seems to bounce higher every time. Yeah, yeah, it definitely looks like it bounces a little higher every every jump, which is you know interesting to say the least. But um, it does also shoot one every time you swing. The sword itself, unfortunately, doesn't make any cool sounds, but this, each of these does 200 damage, and the, it looks cool, and it, it's just fantastic. <laughs> I don't know what else you could ask for. I believe this was one of the items also that was, um, that was teased in one of the, the teaser videos that, uh, before the update actually came out. I mean, DPS-wise, it's not the greatest, but, I mean, you know, the, it, it's just really cool. Like, even just as a novelty weapon, this is... This is really neat. This is also like one of the this and the um the the lunar portal took me forever to get. I just kept fighting the fighting the moon lord and I was not getting these drops. It <laughs> took a really long time to get them. But um so there's there's all the all the weapons that you get for beating them. You also can um oh yeah first real quick we have the mask and the, uh, the trophy here that you get. You can randomly get you have a randomly I believe a 10% chance to get either of those. And last but not least, we have if you turn the luminite into dyes, you can um, you can get void dye here, which is one of m just it's become my like my new favorite type of dye. Because uh, here we'll go ahead and equip the this cultist stuff. You get uh, you buy it from the uh, the clothier after I believe you, the, you beat the lunatic cultist. So that's not related. But the void dye when you put it on something, it dulls down the colors and it adds this really nice uh, this really cool vibration effect. Like what happens if, when you're um, when you're first starting to get into the, the lunar event, or the, the Moon Lord fight. So, this this is very cool. Put it on your spaceship, and it's... I absolutely love this die. This is probably going to be my new uh, my new main die to use. But, uh, yeah, that, I believe, is is all of it. So, 
Thank you guys for watching. If you liked this video, please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Also check out the description for a link to our Twitch.tv channel, as well as um, all my social media stuff. So, in the next uh, four, yeah, next four episodes, I'm going to be going over all the stuff that you make with Solar, Vortex, Nebula, and Stardust uh, that you get from the four pillars, or the four towers, or whatever you want to call them, from the Celestial slash Lunar event. And... After that, we're going to be taking we're going to take a look at the uh, the new mount, the the like laser drill mining mining mount that I haven't made it yet. I still have the ingredients right here. Uh, I'm going to make that for the first time on the actual video because I'm very much so excited to use that. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys later.